As you can see, I have still got a lot of the death pile. I do not know why they call it the death pile. This is from the last week, so it's not really a death pile. And calling it a death pile usually means that it's stuff that you don't really want to put on eBay, you know, because it's not worth much. So the, all this stuff is um, not the death pile. It is Mount CBA. Can't be asked. So, um, yeah, I'm doing that today. But there's something bigger and more important than this pile. Welcome back to the channel. Um, this is quite an important video. Um, and I want your input as well because... Yeah, it's not on. I've got some information about eBay. I've got some. I've got a reply back from eBay because I sent them pretty, like, angry email, um, and I got a reply. And yeah, I'm going to tell you what's happening with eBay. What I'm about to tell you doesn't clear up absolutely anything. And if you're wondering what I'm on about, it's eBay. It's gone absolutely shockingly dead. I don't know what's happened this, well, last week. I got, I was going to do a video, you know, like what sold over the weekend or what sold. Because usually I sell quite a lot. I usually average between 30 to 50 sales a week. And yeah, that's what I'm quite happy with. You know, it's, that's a good um, week for sales. The end of last week on Sunday, I think I totaled up about 19 sales. Um, and that was it. Maybe not even 19. I think I had over 25 sales, but a lot of them from Vinted. I think eBay was 15 sales. So on Friday, I think I emailed them and trying to find out some way how to email them. It's an absolute mission. Um, you know, trying to talk to a robot for ages and that was just like feeding you off to somewhere else. I looked at all my, you know, my interaction, my reports, you know, what you can check on your own eBay account, seeing if there's any marks against me because that can affect it. I did have to give a refund. So, yeah, Royal Mail, I've lost another parcel of mine. That's two in a matter of few weeks um so that was a 30 quid one as well brand new the the nemo dory thing so i've lost a big chunk of money there and obviously because i send everything like second class um yeah i'm not going to get the money i might do they do actually give some money back but it's usually only like up to 20 quid so yeah i lost some money off that um I will gain some money still because I only bought it for five quid, so I will make some profit, but not like the 30 quid. But that isn't the issue. I haven't had no bad stuff against me on eBay, um, and I was wondering why my sales have gone down. How can my sales go from averagely 30 plus every week since the start of the year to suddenly getting... 15 ish this week or last week and it's been like that all week usually yes you have a few days where you're like oh, oh well might get a couple of sales like certain days maybe a tuesday is a bit quiet or um another day is quite quiet and you you expect it but then other days you just get loads like the weekend you get loads um and i've had nothing I think I had one day, which maybe two days, which was like five, six sales. But they're all little bits and bobs, you know, like stuff that I'm trying to get rid of, um, stuff that's not worth much. And obviously the profit total was rubbish. Um, I haven't even added up what I got last week in like profit and that uh, because I know it's not going to be good. Um Plus, like I said, I've spent a lot of money over this week. It's been weird. My stuff, what I picked up last week, was probably one of the best weeks for picking up stuff. But I'm probably down in money now because of no sales. Like, if it wasn't for Vinted, I probably wouldn't have had any money coming back at all. 
because Vinted has suddenly like produced a lot of sales for me, which is quite good, which is usually not the case. You know, they trickle along here and there, but v Vinted compared to eBay, usually there's no comparison. You know, eBay will always outdo Vinted. It just seems to me since eBay did that free fees for uh, private sellers on clothing, it's taken effect. Not saying that I'm a clothing seller, you know, I do sell bits of clothing, but um, I don't know. It just feels like they are not bothered about sellers, you know. They're not bothered about the people who pay them money for eBay shops, you know. I promote, so I'm giving them a lot of money each week, each month, and I went, for what? So, after I found the email address, I read an email address and it wasn't nice. Um, I basically said, right, I have an eBay stall. I have promoted listings on all my stuff that I list. I list regularly and this week my sales have been shocking. I have sold hardly nothing compared to previous weeks where I'm averaging quite a lot of sales. How can my sales be averaging, like I said, around the 30 plus mark every week and then suddenly I hardly get no sales? This is what it's like paying for an eBay shop, paying for promotion is like, then I'll just cancel it all. You know about Vinted Pro coming out and now you're um, helping people who are private sellers with free fees on clothing, but you're not helping out people like myself who pay for subscriptions, pay for promoted fees, and there's nothing coming back. That is the whole point to having these features because you're supposed to be able to sell more. I said, I have a YouTube channel and I always stick up for eBay saying, yes, they charge fees, but they are a business and we sell a lot. But now, uh, it doesn't look like I'm selling much from eBay. Then I said about Vinted Pro and if Vinted Pro does come out soon that if I'm not selling much on eBay, I will just cancel everything off eBay and I will leave eBay for Vinted Pro because at least I won't get no fees and if it's going to be not selling much on eBay, then what is the point of paying? Um, I'm literally paying £27 a month for a shop which is a basic shop, and I'm promoting everything. So that everything I sell, if it's a promotion one, um, which it's sold off, you're looking a quid. So they're making an extra, if I sell like 30 items, can 30 quid extra a week on me, um, plus their fees off the actual sale themselves. So they're making a lot of money off me. And also they're making a lot of money off other people who promote to have shops. Then I put, can you get back to me please, ASAP. So it was a couple of days, and on Sunday, I got a reply saying basically that everything on your shop is fine. There was no black marks against you. There's nothing um, going for you. Your eBay shop is really good. We see you have sold a lot in the past, but your sales have gone down this week. And I was thinking, well, I've just told you that, you know, why are you telling me? And then they gave me a load of jargon saying what we would do um, to help you out. They basically told me that my listings should um, be checked and see if I can compete with other ones. Also said, if you're selling certain items, you are competing against a lot of other people and we see that your items, there's a lot of other sellers selling the same thing. It always has been like that. So why are my sales gone down from this week compared to being fine all the other weeks? It's not changed. There's always going to be people selling the same things. That's how we know how much stuff is selling for and has been sold for. You know, it's no different. They're just fobbing me off with some absolute rubbish. They then carry on saying, we have got loads of dedicated people that can help you out. And then they sent me some links to some rubbish, basically show me how to list stuff, show me how to put, you know, stuff on. And I'm like, I thought, oh my God, I haven't changed anything. It's not like I'm a newbie and I haven't listed stuff before or I'm starting, 
I'm still trying to learn. eBay, you're fobbing me off like you do with every other seller because all you care about is making money. It seems like something's broke with eBay and they just don't want to admit it. And I don't want people saying, oh, it's because you're selling rubbish or you're selling that. It's not just me. I have had loads of people comment about eBay as being quiet. I've had um, other YouTubers saying it, um, it's been quiet. And it something's wrong with eBay. And if it carries on, what is the point of being on it? What is the point in spending your money on services for that they say um helps you sell stuff they even in the uh, email back they said about promotion that promotion doesn't mean it's going to sell anything it just promotes it up the the rankings and i'm thinking then why bother promoting stuff if it's not going to sell stuff the whole reason about promoting your things is it obviously goes higher up in the rank so you can sell it Right? That is the whole point. That is why you advertise stuff. That's why people advertise stuff. They don't advertise stuff just to show what you're selling. It's about advertisements, about if you advertise stuff like on the TV, it's because you're getting it out in front of people's faces and then they'll go, oh, I like that and they'll buy it. All right? So you're obviously not promoting it because if everybody else is promoting their stuff, what is the point? You're just going to be down the list. So it's it's annoying because, one, I'm not making no more sales than I have done before. So like today, I have not woke up to any sales at all. I'm getting offers on Vinted for my stuff. And it's stuff that's quite good. And I'm that close to accepting these ridiculous, stupid offers because you need, you know, we need the money. We need money to buy stuff and set, pay for bills. I understand that, yeah, there is other people selling the same stuff. It's not like that I, I'm only selling a few items and it stops. I would understand that because if I was selling only five or six a week and then I didn't sell any that week, well, it's not much of a difference. But seeing I've sold more than 30 plus items every week since the start of this year and now this last week I've only sold around 15 it's stupid, you know what I mean? I, You know what I sell. Walkers are one of my biggest sellers. I do sell walkers and even they, I think I sold one walker where previously the week before I sold four. So what's going on? I'm not expecting to sell four walkers every week. I'm not saying that, but I've had loads of offers. I've gave offers and offers and offers. I must have had about over 50 offers, you know, giving them to reduced price in that and not one of them came back and it's good offers you know knocking off 10 pounds off an item no they don't want it so it's just i don't know if it's just people being nosy on offers or that because i've had people trying to sell me stuff which i've just obviously not so i don't know what's happening and yeah i want you lot to comment down below if you've had it as well because and what you're going to do with it because it's getting to that stage where I'm not worrying and I don't think you should worry because I've been in the retail business before and you have your good days and your bad days. You have your quiet months and your busy months and stuff like that. And we know we are resellers, but we are like retail. We are like them, but we sell it online. I said this week is going to be very important for me because you've seen my latest videos and I have picked up some really, really good stuff. I mean, stuff that's really good. Some very high-end stuff. Some very cool stuff that sells. You know, stuff that, like, for instance, very simple stuff like this. Right? And everybody needs them. I'm going to sell them as a four-pack. You know, because so, people might need more than four. You know, I've got very nice clothing. I've got um very good books you saw you know like if some of the stuff doesn't sell this week when i put it on then there's something really wrong because um and i don't know what i'm gonna do because like i said i'm not going out because i don't want to go out it's because what is the point in wasting more money i'm buying stuff that i'm not going to be able to sell because ebay are messing me around and it's not just me they're messing you lot around as well so, yeah, 
Let me know what you think. Comment down below if you're having this problem or you're still selling a lot. Um, and yeah, I'll have to finish the video now because I'm waffling on. Anyway, thank you for watching. Give it a like, share it, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.